Water. So how much should you really be drinking every day? Eight eight ounce cups? Or can we find out something that's more specific to exactly what you need? After all, some people are more or less active, larger versus smaller, or maybe drink diuretics like caffeine. The rules for optimal water intake per person are as follows. Start with your body weight in pounds and divide it by two. This is how many ounces of water you should be drinking per day. So 128 persons should be drinking 64 ounces of water per day. Hey, now, there's your 88 ounce cups of water. Good thing everyone's a cookie cutter 128 pounds. Ha ha ha. Just plug in your weight to the formula and there's your starting point. Next, add at least another 8 ounces of water for every 30 minutes of exercise. Granted, if you're doing cardio in the heat versus lifting some weights in the AC, this could vary. Adjust as necessary, but do remember to drink more than this initial starting baseline if you are exercising. Finally, you need to add in an extra 8 ounces of water for every caffeinated drink you consume. Want a cup of coffee? Add another 8 ounces. Want two cups? Add another 8 ounces. Now, one trick I like to do to keep up with all this nonsense is to go buy a water bottle in which I know exactly how many ounces it contains. For example, if it's a 16 ounce water bottle, then I know I need to drink five of these throughout the day if I'm that magical 128 pounds, exercise 30 minutes, and drink one cup of coffee. Also, space out your drinking throughout the day. Your body will use it better that way. It will also utilize it better if you drink it outside of a meal. This is another good reason to use a water bottle. Keep it at your desk all day long and nurse that sucker. It will make you feel better.